Good morning, grandkids. Let's get back to Frank Faraday. Well, I don't know where my buddies are. Maybe they have found a fear deep within them and are hesitating outside the ruin. Or maybe the gods are testing me. Maybe this is my crucible to continue through alone to test my fear and my strengths. Must be cautious. I hope the gloom doesn't get much darker in here. I gave my torches to one of my buddies who isn't with me. of invisibility I got. Stone bed, that must have been quite uncomfortable. What have we here? Nothing I wish to take. It's going to be extremely hard. Thank the gods I had a decent weapon and decent strength. Oh, well, there are already dead here that this monstrosity must have taken out. must be where he waited for people to come. What will 
you yield up for me? A weakened centurion. He's not dead. He's just weakened. Soul gem and it's filled. Very good. There was a dwimmer or something else I picked up, I thought. Maybe that was it might not be worth carrying around. What have we there? A wall of a spiked closure. for another one of those centurions to wait. All right, are we going to be able to get through here? Activate pedestal? I don't have anything to activate it with. What have I missed? We must get on through this place somehow. Oh, maybe that's it. I didn't even search this guy. Let's read the mercenary's journal. Where is it? Hmm, after far too long of searching, we have finally found it. We have found the ancient lexicon and may now travel through the gate. Perhaps it was luck, perhaps it was fate. My family's work is no longer wasted and I can fulfill my grandfather's wishes. We are heading to the old buried ruins of Zubthin, I can't pronounce that. Tomorrow, I have worked a deal out with the local bandit leader to grant us passage though we must still watch our backs as they are not to be trusted. We found the gate. It was just where the book said it would be. We are going to secure the area and examine it real fast, then attempt to use the cook cube. It appears to have a control manifold that we can use. There's a large dwarven centurion here that looks intact, but it is either slumbering or dead, as it has yet to make any sounds or movement. Skull. Skullyom even tapped it jokingly with his sword, and we are confident that it will not harm us. I just hope this thing works. Well, I just hope so too. Thank you, sir. But I didn't have to tap on this one. He attacked, so 
something must have changed. Maybe this one over here was the one they was talking about. All right, let's see if this is what works in here. Yes. Figure out what the lexicon does. Travel through the gate. Figure out what it does. It opened the gate. What else does it do? Do I take it with me? Let's see. The lexicon has closed. Despite your best efforts, you cannot seem to remove it from the pedestal. At least it's safe for now. Oh, maybe I get it later. Perhaps someday you will be able to retrieve it. Or better yet, understand how to use it. Okay, all right, I got you. What is this? Is it a doorway? I'll bet someday this lexicon is going to play a role with this. You think? Here's another gate. of opening this either. That means we must go around behind it, I suppose. here? Why can I not continue on? I was told all I had to do was come to the Echo Mine. There has to be a lever or a button or a chain. And it's so dark. I don't think I kept one of them. No, I gave them, I had three, I think, and I gave them to my friends. Maybe the mechanism to open it is out here. Who can tell? It's so dark everywhere. Yes. The gods are surely testing me. To make sure that I have enough strength, knowledge, and abilities to carry my friends with me. He 
have anything else? No. T. No. Or did he? really think it has something to do with this. Something back here that I missed that I was supposed to do. Blast the gods that torment me this way. Could I pass through those gates if I use the invisibility potion, I wonder? I thought that would be to sneak past some large centurion, but I didn't need it for that. just an ordinary steel sword. It wouldn't be to strike anything with. No. That book doesn't have anything to do with this place. Nor does that. And I don't believe that does. And that certainly doesn't. Why is there a plant growing right there? A potato plant. How weird. Very weird. All right. I am going to go take the invisibility potion and see if I can pass through. Oh, wait. going to be a door, but it isn't. Wait. Everything is so intriguing. A lever or a button or a chain could be anywhere. side looks like it really leads anywhere except to a room. Maybe I could go 
walk through this. Let me read that book. the lexicon. We used it to lower the gate. And we used the cube. Yes, this thing worked, but now what would work? All right, take our invisibility potion. We have 20 seconds. was that stone wall. It was. Please, the gods, let my friends come with me. We are entering false God. friends but if you just came through that then then that would make you the traveler wouldn't it yes I am what's the traveler except I travel where in oblivion am I you didn't bother to find out where that thing went before you jumped in did you no you're in Falscar I'm going to assume you're from Skyrim Yes, sir. somehow managed to get the portal working. My job would dictate that I arrest you right here and now. Arrest However, me? However, I'm in the middle of something important right now. If you give me a hand with it, afterwards you're free to go. I'm All searching right. for a Nord named Machias. He's the blacksmithing apprentice in the nearby town of Ember Creek. I assume that since he isn't in here, he's in the nearby cave. Unfortunately, I can also assume that that cave is full of bandits. I'll still have to report your arrival to my superiors, but if you assist me, I'll say you were cooperative and helpful. Thank you. Oh, also, the switch to lower these bars is out here, and it looks like your portal thing has shut off, meaning I'm the only one who can let you out. Okay, sounds fair. I don't have much of a choice then, do I? Hey, you're the one that went jumping through random uh, ancient portals. I know. It's your own fault. I'll get the lever. Thank you. I did really trap myself, didn't I? <laughs> now let's get moving. I don't want to waste any more time. There's another thing for a lexicon again. Am I following you? I suppose. Wait, can I look around a little bit, please? The Spirit of Nern. 
That's what I've been traveling over for half my life. The Mead of Shore? Hmm. I think I will take this book, The Spirit of Nern, and see if I can learn anything I haven't learned so far traveling the land. There's more. Am I in sneak? No. Oh, there's steps. <gasps> I see. All right. We must follow him through there. And so far, my friends have not been able to join me. The gods are harassing me. They're forcing me through this crucible of learning and strengthening and ridding me of any fear. I hope they don't leave me alone for too long. All right, grandkids, we're going to leave it here, and we will come back with Frank Faraday, the Traveler, the next time we come back. Bye-bye, grandkids. <laughs>